Well, I was going to walk through how I flash the speed controllers for my Carbon Core Y6. I have some Hobby King 30 amp ESCs, and these are suitable for flashing with Simon K firmware, which will improve the stability and motor response and smoothness and all that good stuff, which I have yet to experience because this is my first uh, multi-rotor helicopter. This to me was the most intimidating stage of the build is flashing these. Uh, I've gotten through two of them. I have one wired up right here. A little bit of microscopic surgery there. And it's ready to flash. Starting with a brand new speed controller. I'm going to solder on some bullet connectors. the wire in and let it ah, heat up a little bit. You can see it all flows, cooled, and done. Now I'm going to solder six wires onto the six pads first of the speed controller so we can flash it. First I'm going to it very very carefully slice through the idea here is just to cut through without cutting any slicing any components or traces just do it very carefully there we go aha so the idea will be to tape that back on later when we're done okay so now we've got our very small tip soldering iron. Put a little bit on there. Solder one wire to each pad. And so I'm going to do the MOSI first, whatever that is. I have no idea what this stuff is. I'm just following directions. I got my MOSI wire. Ignore color coding. I'm just using wires. They're not color coded. Okay, ready? Done. The idea is you want to do that really quick. Your iron needs to be nice and hot and thin. Alright, I need to find my SCK. Again, I have no idea what this stuff means. Alright, ready? Okay. Ah. It was good the first time, then I tried to do it again. This is like surgery. Okay. Boom. Done. Six wires soldered and ready to flash. So the next step is to plug these other ends into the right connectors on the USB ASP board. And I've got those pinouts. Upper left is MOSI. Next is going to be blank. Next is going to be RST, and then ground, I'm going to use pin number 10, bottom right, and VCC is going to be pin number 2, upper right. I'm sure there's an easier way, but you know, I'll do this for a living. MISO, that one. Okay. Four, six, all six wires connected. Six wires soldered on there. And we are ready to flash. Make sure you have the jumper set for the five volt setting. This one supplies power to the board from the USB. I think if you don't have that, you gotta do get your power some other way. 
and uh, that's it. Okay, I'm back from the computer. I just flashed the Simon K firmware into this 30 amp Blue Series Hobby King speed controller and I'm going to test it. So first I'm going to unplug it from the USB ASP board. I don't know if that makes any difference but just for the heck of it I'm going to unplug that. And on, <coughs> after I test it make sure the flash went good, went well. Uh, I'm going to unsolder those wires. So I have like I said a temporary uh, motor wiring with some bullet connectors tempor temporarily soldered onto one motor just to test. And what I'm going to do here is very, very carefully rig up a temporary battery, keeping those leads well apart from each other. Temporary battery, which I'll plug in here in a second. And uh, plug this into my receiver, or I mean throttle port on the AR8000. Make sure to get the signal wire correctly oriented. Okay, and... Now what I have found is I just go straight into the throttle calibration. Uh, I tried powering it up with the throttle down and it still needs calibrated. So it seems to me the best way is just to go straight with full throttle. And in order to do that on the DX8 you have to disable uh, the throttle, uh, what is it, the throttle warning within the uh, setup. Otherwise it won't let you turn on. So we'll turn it on. ready to go and double check everything here We're ready to power up that was the signal and that's the the beeps you hear when it's uh, the throttle range has been confirmed and that's it it's done this lower motor right here Okay, so that works, and that's it. So now if we unplug the power, and I don't know whether it makes any difference to recycle the radio or not. Let's just recycle the radio. Listen to what it sounds like now with a fresh, uh, properly calibrated uh, throttle range. It's got that rising doo 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 doo. That means it's ready. But when I was trying to do this without calibrating the throttle range first, it would not start actually. Um, and uh, it gave three the three rising beeps, but not the fourth one. So it wasn't happy and it would not arm the motor. So that's why I just went for straight uh, calibration right off the right off the start, and that's been working three times in a row now. Should be good to go. I will unsolder the six wires off of here. It's just exactly the reverse process. Uh, you know, watch the part where I solder those on. It's just the exact opposite. You just touch the iron on there, and poof, those pop. You know, those wires come right off. The idea there is to just be quick and efficient. Okay, I think that's flashing in a nutshell. It worked for me. Like I said, it was a little bit intimidating at first, but once I got it figured out, um, all is well. And then this, I'm going once I get those wires off of there, I'm going to just uh, tape that together. Oh, by the way, I flashed this with the bootloader option. So what that means now, once I buy that USB key, programmer key, something like that from Hobby King. I'll be able to reflash this straight from the, um, uh, the servo wire connector. Now, why in the world isn't that enabled to begin with? Like, that would make life so easy. Uh, anyway, so I won't, be, I won't need to solder these wires on in the future to reflash this. <laughs>